Could be. So, yeah, Rich sent me a video on black holes. What was the title? Are black holes really fuzzy or something? Mm -hmm. It's um, basically talking about how a lot of the, the issues that, I, I mean, you know a little bit about string theory, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, the main I reason Actually, no, I mean, I say that like I, I understand, I do not. I tried to listen to an audiobook about string theory and I, I had a really hard time, honestly. String theory is super simple when you get the reason for it, right? By, by working in 10 dimensions instead of the space that we're used to, it makes a lot of the math check out. So you can actually, when you, when you look at particle physics, some of, the, some of the equations that break down when you get to like a really small level or a really large level, now start to work. That's the idea of string theory. That's why they, they use it so frequently. It's why scientists are obsessed with it. When you look at black holes, basically they're not, you understand like the, uh, the, the, the idea to a black hole with like the event horizon and the idea that it's like just like this super dense gravitational mm -hmm. force. The idea is that it just doesn't work like that if you look at it in 10 dimensions and instead of being a black hole, it's actually like this fuzzy mess of particles that are spread out like yarn. I'll let you watch the video. Okay. The last video that Rich had me watch kind of me up for like days. Which it one? Was the, it was the one about the, the filter, the great filter. I actually <laughs> cry majority of the night. Just because that video? Yeah, all videos. I, everything that I watch is super sad. Oh, ha, ha. Yeah. Yeah, should, we, should, should we go into the great filter and the Fermi paradox and shit? Wait, you want to hear something that's going to go even more? You want to get really depressed on this stream? Okay. Okay, so... Obviously, one of the biggest questions about whether there's intelligent life on other planets goes around the idea of how rare is it going to be to find a planet like Earth? And recently, they started to discover how absurd our solar system actually is. Jupiter is such a weird planet. We have like these really, we have a lot of variance between the size of the planets in our solar system and most solar systems, the planets are gonna be a similar size. Having those super large planets in our solar system behind us basically sucked up a bunch of the space debris that should have like collided with our planet. Also, our moon is super unique. It's a very large moon. Mm -hmm. They haven't been there in a really long time. I was actually talking to this this tripping up. I was talking to Erod's girlfriend. Apparently we had we hadn't actually ever been there. <laughs> Where are you going? I thought that was pretty crazy. That really made me think as well. 